Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new Chanel Cruise Collection and also a massive giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. Okay, so before we dive into the products themselves, I wanna to talk to you guys about the giveaway. Yes. I am doing a giveaway of the Chanel Cruise Collection 2018. So I will give away products that you are seeing on my face right now and that you will see later on in the tutorial. And I will be giving away some goodies and samples as well. Miriam, my Chanel advisor, my lovely fantastic Chanel advisor, and I had a discussion about what kind of samples to give you guys because I don't know who's gonna win. So I kind of wanted to stick with skincare and perfume samples as like extra goodies because I feel like that's more universal for everyone. When it comes to like foundation samples, it's kind of hard to do a giveaway for that because who knows who's gonna win and if it's gonna fit them. And I want I want you guys to be able to use them. So it's gonna be the products themselves that you will see and also some perfume and skincare goodies. So the giveaway is international. It doesn't matter where you live because I know I have a lot of subscribers in Montreal, but I also have a lot in the States. I have a lot in Italy. I have a lot in Australia. I have a lot in the UK. So I want everyone to be able to participate. So in order to enter the giveaway, go check in the description box. There's big capital letters that say like enter giveaway here click on that link. In order to be entered, you need to be subscribed to my channel and to watch this video. So when you subscribe, or if you already are subscribed, that gives you one entry. When you watch the video, that gives you two entries. The more entries you have, the higher your chances are of winning. Now, you can only subscribe once, that's fair, but you can watch the video more than once. I think you can watch it like every 24 hours if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to increase your chances of winning, the more you watch the video, the higher your chances are. So enough chit chat, let's just dive right in and show you guys what I got and also what you might be receiving soon. So when I send the package, I will send it in the Chanel box because obviously, but I'm gonna have to like wrap it in like bubble wrap and like it's not gonna look like super cute. Like when you receive it at home and you open it, it's not gonna like be super cute and delicate it's gonna be like construction sorry there's gonna be like lots of like packing paper and things like that so you'll have to like zhuzh it up yourself when you get it at home okay just like a warning okay let's get started so this is the lovely chanel box here let's open it up now the worst part is always tearing this open because it always looks so pretty with the seal but the goodies are inside so let's tear it open Ooh. Okay, so let's start with the samples because those are fun. Um, what do we have here? Ooh, this looks like Chance uh, Au Tendre, which is so pretty. It's so gorgeous and like light and bubbly and fruity and just perfect for summer. So, yay. Thank you so much, Miriam. These are fantastic. I love it. And it's pink. Yay, pink. And then this is new. So the blue perfume for men, that's been a while, around for a while. Um, but this is the new one. This is the perfume. It's not eau de toilette, eau de parfum. It's just like the perfume concentrate. So this is new again. Thank you so much, Miriam. So this is another sample of the Gabrielle perfume. I love like just the way that this is made, like, just like the packaging. Let's open it up. I'm having technical difficulties opening, but normally you just lift it up and then you push and you have your perfume spray. And it's really, I don't know, it's just so extra for a perfume sample, but I just love that extra touch. I'm having issues right now, but hopefully I'll get it open later. And then, oh, so um, yeah, this is like the best thing ever. She gave me a couple samples of the Sublimage um, foundation. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm so tempted, but it's so expensive. So anyway, if you guys want to see a review of this sample of the Sublimage foundation, let me know down in the comments and we can arrange for that. Now this I am so excited about. This is new from the Lift, the Lift uh, skincare line. So it's a little baggy, but there are samples inside. And also it's pink inside because pink. This is just some information on the skincare line. And then, okay, so there's the serum, a sample of the serum for the lift. I think this is for the eyes. Yeah, so this is the eye cream again from the lift and then a sample of the cream. 
Thank you so much. This is such a nice sample. Like this is such a nice little goodie bag of treats. Thank you so much, Miriam. Okay, now let's move on to the products because we came here for the makeup. This is one of the waterproof liners. This is number 887 called Charm. So off the bat, when you see like the packaging here, it kind of looks like it's going to be a bit red, maybe like an auburn color, however. But I did try this out this morning and it definitely looks a bit more eggplanty. Like I thought this was gonna be a bit more red, but on me, it definitely looks more plummy. It's pretty true to color here swatched on my skin and when it's on my eyes, it's definitely more of an eggplant color, but it's really pretty. And then here we have Le Crayon Rouge. I haven't tried any of these yet, which is very exciting. This is number 20 Ultra Rose. I have to say it's pretty red for a rose. Like when you see this, like for me, I think it's gonna be like an orangey red, which obviously we know I love. It doesn't look as orangey red as you might expect. Not the best at swatching, but there we go. That's the color here. And it does, it's very comfortable to wear. It's very glossy. I would say that the glossiness definitely fades away, especially when you eat and drink. However, it does like stain your lips for a long time after. And then last but not least, we have our Ikla Enigmatic, the new limited edition eyeshadow palette. This is part of the Cruise collection. I love that this is like also different. Instead of just being all black here, it's like kind of, I don't know what kind of color this is, but it's definitely unique. Ooh, and there's, oh, I didn't realize every color, like every side was a color. Oh, I think it's a different color for every shade in the palette. Yes, because there is a shade like this, there's a shade like this, there's a shade like this, and a shade like this. So it must just be to match what the palette inside. Okay, I'm gonna stop, pop it, stop talking and just show you the palette. So it comes with one of these, like if you want like an idea for like what to do for look. So full disclosure, I did in fact use this palette before filming this part of the video. That's why it is covered in smudgy fingerprints. These palettes are so beautiful, but it's so easy to get dirty. So as you can see, this has been used once. It honestly like still looks quite perfect. So it comes with two little applicators. I kept them just to show you guys, but I don't think I'll really use them. So it comes with like one of these little sponges and then it comes with a little mini brush like this. I feel like this brush is pretty soft. It's probably not that bad to use. Yeah, I think that like these ridges are like waves because it is like the cruise collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you guys, but you will see later on how they look on the eye, which is really what's important. So this is the lightest color here. It doesn't really show up like that much. It really just looks like a color for light and just some shimmer and highlight basically. Obviously like they swatched very nicely, but for me it's more important to have eyeshadows that work well, but these do swatch well and these do work well. Oh, what do we have here? It looks like an almost identical package to the one we just showed, except this one has a really pretty hot pink flower or camellia as they say in Chanel language. So maybe we should just open this up and see what's inside. So yes, this is in fact the giveaway prize. So as you can see, I didn't put um, a sticker or a seal because when I'm gonna send it out, I'm going to have to bundle it up and make sure it stays safe. So let's see what the giveaway prize is. So here we have just this lovely Chanel note card. I think this will be your, like my thank you card to you, will be this one here. And then you will also get a few samples of the new blue perfume for men. You can give it to your lover, your boyfriend, your whoever you have in your life. And you'll also receive a few samples of the Chance Autant with the toilette. And then you will also receive a sample of the Gabrielle perfume here. I'm not gonna try to open it. Hopefully it opens for you. I'm sure it will. Um, so you'll get a, a nice luxury sample of this perfume as well. You will also receive a sample of the Hydra Beauty Micro Cream. This cream is basically good for anyone. It's just like their hydration line. So if you are someone who needs moisturizer, this will be perfect. And you will also receive this little pouch here from the Lift line. So it's the same pouch that I showed before. So you will receive a sample of the serum, the eye cream, and the cream for the face as well, as well as this little pouch. And then of course, the makeup, the thing that we came here to see. You will receive the new number 887 Charm Waterproof Eyeliner. You will receive the Jumbo Longwear Lip Crayon number 20 Ultra Rose. You will receive the limited edition 
Ikla Enigmatic Cruise Collection eyeshadow palette for 2018. And this will be yours. So everything has been primed and prepped. So I'm gonna go into the red shade with this flat brush here. And I'm just gonna pack this on the lid here. This is really pretty. I was worried at first that it would look too much like Condor Experience, one of my favorite palettes ever, but this shade definitely looks a bit more... Oh, sorry, that's um, the construction outside. I live in Montreal and summer is the season of construction. I mean, any time of year is the season of construction, but I feel like construction sounds are like the soundtrack to a Montreal summer. But yes, back to the eyeshadow. I feel like Condor Experience, the red, is more red. And this is like, it's not a straight matte color, it has more shimmer. It has a bit of gold, I find. A brick red, maybe there's like a little bit of orange in there. I don't know, it's a very pretty shade. And I find that it is quite pigmented, which is good because obviously it should be. So now I'm gonna go into this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the brown shade. Now we're going to blend here. So these are all shimmer shades, but they're not like a heavy, chunky glitter, which is nice. And now with whatever's left on the brush, we are just going to swoop underneath. I think I want to take the red just a little bit higher. So I'm just going back into the same brush and I'm just going to keep my eyes open and just pack it up a little bit higher here. And going back in to continue blending. Okay. So we're gonna go into that grayish black shade with a small tapered brush and we're going to take this and we're going to place it in the corner here and then we're gonna go into the crease. So far there's no fallout for any of the shades. This grayish black is really blending really nicely. I honestly didn't think it would, I don't know, it just seems like the other colors are so warm and this is so cool, but it actually looks quite nice. It, the black, a gray color, definitely just like brings this whole look more like evening and a bit deeper because even just adding that dark color there just transforms the look. I'm wondering if all this red will bring out like the hazel in my eyes. I definitely have brown eyes, but every now and then when I wear like a specific liner or eyeshadow, my eyes look almost hazel. Like they cut, instead of looking like a deep dark brown, they look like a lighter brown. Which is funny because when I was younger, I used to not like having brown eyes. I wanted to have like, um, I was gonna say blonde eyes. No, I wanted to have blue eyes but I'm actually quite happy with having brown eyes now. Mostly because it means I can wear any eyeshadow or any eye color and it always looks good. I think now we're gonna go in with a little bit of liner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the face makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I kinda wanna mix a bunch of colors on the bottom waterline. Honestly, the more that I'm looking at this liner, the more that it looks purple on me than red. I mean, I don't mind, but it's just not what I was expecting. Let's dip into a little bit of the red. And just go under the lashes here. And also dipping into the gray color. Now let's go in with lots and lots of mascara. Okay, now let's finish this off with the lip color. This feels very smooth and creamy. It feels, it feels like super light. Like it doesn't feel heavy on the lip like a regular lipstick, you know what I mean? Like it feels almost like a gloss. It feels very nourishing. All right, guys, this is the finished look for look number one featuring the Chanel Cruise collection. I hope you guys found some inspiration. I know a few of you have already picked it up. So I hope you guys had some inspiration, got some ideas on how to use the palette. Some people had been requesting a Kristen Stewart for makeup look during the Cruise Collection fashion show, which I will be doing in the upcoming weeks, probably on Friday. I hope you guys make sure to enter the giveaway. Go check down in the description box. There will be in big capital letters, like enter giveaway here, follow all the steps and you will be entered into this amazing giveaway. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And I'm thinking maybe I can do like a smoky eye with this palette, like the black, like the grayish black shade. I think I would be able to do something. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.